Now having let our both our solvent blend and a little bit more of our resin soap on the high spots, let's see how we can take them off and we'll just there we go. Now we can go more if we want, but let's take this nice and slow. Now we're going to clear it with a little bit of alcohol. Get off some of that residue. Again, we'll just dab it. Now, let's see how our solvent blend has behaved. Gelling it allows it to stay in place, doesn't let it evaporate quite so quickly, and allows it to do the job. In these cases, we do want the solvent, the material, to do the work. We do not want to be aggressive with mechanical action. It will go right through the gold. And you can see that we still have some thick spots. And we'll come back to those. Take that out of there. And let's see how we are over here. Okay, let's take a look. It's on there pretty heavy, so we're going to go back again. Since we're dealing with a, a black bowl, an under part of this, the substrate under the gold, sometimes it's hard to tell what is dirt and where we might have gone through and exposed that black bowl. Right. Being careful not to let the water-based resin soap touch the water gilding as it will strip it right off because of the gelatin or rabbit skin glue that's holding the gold in place. And plus you do not want the solvent blend to go where the oil gilding is because it will then, of course, go right through it as well. So it's a very delicate, time-consuming operation and well worth the effort. Let our solvent do the work. And one of the more important things of a process like this is that we make sure that we have cleared all of our material, all of our resin soap, and all of our gelled solvent. We don't want to leave any of the gel material behind, and we don't want to leave any of that high pH resin soap 
to stay behind. So it has to be cleared very, very well. It takes a while to get your timing down and the touch down. There are very, <clears throat> a lot of variable areas on here that have different amounts of different materials. We've run into a lot of paint. That always proves to be problematic because they painted it for a reason, so we don't know what we'll find underneath, just how complete our decoration is, the gold leaf. And we'll let that sit for a second. All right, after a few minutes of it setting, let's come back and see how well it's working. Looks like there are areas that are pretty thick. So we'll leave it on there for a little bit longer. And let it do the work. We do want all of our debris off of our water gilding so that it does have the shine it should. Our water gilding we can allow to be a little on the dirty side if we want. There is such a thing as over cleaning. And also for what the desired effect may be. But I'd rather have a little bit of highlighting in the grooves to show off the carving than to just over clean. But again, like I say, it's rather subjective and it's up to the owner or authorized agent to decide.
All right, let's 